Yo, what's up guys? Today we're going to be going over the top stimulus check questions that most people have in less than four minutes. So let's not wait any longer. And today we have Rufus Hello. returning to address these questions. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. When are we gonna receive our $1,400 stimulus checks? So far, it appears that we could receive our stimulus checks around mid-March timeframe. The Democrats are expecting to have the stimulus bill ready by the end of February and signed by President Biden by March the 14th, which would mean that we would receive these checks immediately following his signature. Will dependents receive $1,400 stimulus checks? Yes, normal dependents as well as adult dependents will receive $1,400 stimulus checks coming in March. If the person carrying them makes less than $75,000 per year or if the married couple makes less than $150,000 per year, they will receive a $1,400 stimulus check for each dependent and child. Will children receive $1,400 stimulus checks? This is the same answer as the previous question. Yes, as long as the person carrying them makes less than those income thresholds I just mentioned. Will our stimulus checks be garnished for back child support? Previously, stimulus checks have been garnished because of this. The third stimulus checks will not be garnished if you owe back child support. Are people incarcerated entitled to receive a stimulus check? A federal judge in California made the final decision. The IRS was ordered to contact individuals that are incarcerated and let them know that they can file a claim for a stimulus check. That deadline has already passed, of course, which means that they would need to claim it by filing their 2020 form 1040 or 1040 for the recovery rebate credit. That is the only way for someone incarcerated to receive a stimulus check. And you can watch this video right here to find out more information about that. Will people receive hazard pay on the stimulus? Biden proposed retroactive hazard pay for grocery store workers and essential workers. But in the end, that was nothing more than a PR stunt. There is no hazard pay included in the third stimulus package that we know of as of yet, which means he could still add this in the final stimulus relief bill. What's up with student loan forgiveness? Biden has been a proponent of forgiving about $10,000 in federal student loans. Other top Democrats have been pushing him to forgive as much as $50,000. However, this is not in the third stimulus relief bill. There are no plans as of now to forgive any student loans in the current stimulus package. What's up with the extra $200 for Social Security, SSI, and SSDI? This is still up in the air. It was in his original stimulus plan before he became president. And we will know more this week as President Biden plans on providing some clarity around this stimulus bill. Biden plans on releasing his stimulus plan later this week. So hopefully we will know more about if this $200 increase per month is going to be included. I will keep you guys posted. But why didn't I receive my $1,200 stimulus check? If your AGI or adjusted gross income was about $75,000 or above as an individual or above $150,000 as a married couple, you do not qualify for a stimulus check. If you did qualify, perhaps the IRS doesn't have your correct mailing address on file or have your direct deposit information on file. Please be sure to update your information on the IRS.gov's website and make sure to watch this video right here to find out how you can claim those stimulus checks that you never received received on your 2020 tax return. Do we have to pay taxes on our stimulus checks that we received? The government issued two rounds of stimulus checks in April and in December of 2020. You do not have to pay income tax on the stimulus checks, aka economic impact payments. Do we have to pay taxes on unemployment benefits that we received? This is for the people who lost their jobs and started receiving the $600 per week unemployment boost. Unfortunately, you will have to pay federal taxes on this as ordinary income. And those are the most frequently asked questions that I see thus far. Hope these questions help you guys. If you have any additional questions, feel free to ask them down below. In addition, if you found any of this information valuable today, be sure to hit the like button for me. It really helps out the channel and it tells YouTube to share this video with others. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button for me so that you can be a part of this community and hit the notification bell to be notified of each new video. Again, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and I also wanna say thank you to Rufus joining us today. Thank you. And I hope to see you guys on the next video. Peace.